Hello friends, this is your travel buddy Anandita, bringing you another interesting destination near the city of Vijayawada in Andhra Pradesh. In today's video, I will take you to Undavali Caves, which dates back to the 6th century CE and a prime example of rock cut architecture. These caves are located in the Gontu district, about 800 kilometers from the city of Vijayawada and offers a unique perspective to ancient religious practices. The caves are carved out of sandstone from the northern slope of a hill and have four levels. The spectacular rock cut caves are unique as one can see layers of Buddhist, Jain and Hindu influence telling the story of the evolution of faith in the region. These caves were originally excavated through the rock face and served as Buddhist monasteries or biharas for monks. During this time, Amravati, located around 35 km away, was a great center of trade and commerce, attracting merchants from all over the world. The faces sculpted into the entrance of the caves are believed to be those of donors, possibly rich merchants, who paid for the caves, construction and upkeep. The features and attire of these donors are similar to those found at the Buddhist cave complex in the Western Ghats near Mumbai. With the decline of Buddhism from the 5th century CE onwards, the cave caves were occupied by Jain monks. The first floor of the main caves shows a resemblance to the Jain caves at Udayagiri and Kandagiri in Odisha. It was under the Vishnukundin dynasty which ruled the region between the 5th and the 7th centuries that the caves were transformed into a Hindu cave complex. It was during Vishnu Kundin reign that Hinduism saw a revival in the region. The earliest known temples in the region were the cave temple complexes seen at Undavali and Mongala Rajapuram. While the caves were adorned all over with beautiful sculptures and lifelike statues, the most spectacular sight is that of 5 meter long statue of Vishnu as Padmanabha in a reclining position that can be seen resting on the Seshnag carved out of a single block of granite. You realize only when you get on top on how high the structure is and it offers a great view of surrounding farms. Although the complex is not very big, it has rich past and a visit to the Undavali Caves is like flipping through a book on the history of coastal Andhra Pradesh. It is surely a place that one should visit at least once, in case you are in Vijayawara. The caves are maintained by Archaeological Survey of India and are open from 9am to 5.30pm for visitors. An entry ticket of 10 rupees is charged to enter the complex. And that's it folks, hope you enjoyed the visuals of the Undavali Caves. If you have been to these caves, do share your experiences in comments. Don't forget to like my video as it really helps my channel. Also please subscribe to the channel in case you don't want to miss videos on similar places. Bye for now, take care, God bless.